So I'm just going to hold out my arm a little bit like I would with normal groundwork. I don't have any driving energy. Let's see if she hops in all by her lonesomes. She does. I'm actually going to just put the rope down there. That is exactly what you want for trailering. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this champion. Today is little miss's last day and uh, I was going to do a little bit of trailer training with her this week but I got the call yesterday that hauling got uh, scheduled for today and uh, so this is it this is it but she hops right in I couldn't actually remember if she um, uh, just comes into the into the trailer or not oh, I can't remember I have to look back on my videos on trailer training with her but uh, turns out no issues which is great so you never know it's always good to check out if you can get your horses on a trailer which actually has inspired me to think about whether or not I can get all of my horses and maybe starting with Annie onto the trailer nice and safe and sound just like this little one she's done fantastic so hopefully this uh, you know this kind of just coming on here today she hasn't been on a trailer in months I guess because obviously I can't remember the last time and um, this will hopefully make it a little bit easier for her to get trailer today hop on a new trailer not this trailer and uh, and then head off to her new location so it's fantastic what a great I want to try that again should we try that one more time let's try that one more time okay come with me you also want to kind of check out how a horse Hops off. Well, I'm all the way off now. See how she comes off. Pretty good. Oh, a little worry, a little worry. So we don't want that. So it's actually probably a fantastic idea to go a little bit in and out of the trailer. Let's we'll see if she just draws up. Of course she does. She's a champion, like all BC Wildies are. In case you didn't know, this is a BC Wildie. A BC Wildie is like a Canadian Mustang. And uh, just from British Columbia, we have our Alberta Wildies as well. Those guys are under protections of their particular government, but British Columbia does not care about these guys. So, they are only on private lands, not on crown land, which is public land. And, um, and as such, they are dwindling in numbers. Hence the desire to raise awareness, show their amazing qualities. See, if you bump the trailer a bit, she gets a little worried. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay out here for a second and see how she does. She's got her eye on me though, eh? She's got left eye, left ear. She knows that I'm gonna want something pretty soon. So let's ask, let's draw. So just a slight, I've only got two fingers on here, yeah? So we'll draw, we'll draw. She says, I like, I like breakfast. Breakfast tastes good today. So we'll ask, there we go. Okay, we'll ask a little more. She can turn around, she could even back out if she so chose to. Maybe we'll let her choose. Right? Today. So I'll just hold, I won't let her pull against it and go forward. She might back out. Oh, she's almost made it. That is fantastic, I gotta admit, I'm quite impressed. So we'll keep asking. In fact, to make it easier for her, oh, she's gone back up. That's it. Oh, good girl. Whoa, they're okay. What happened? Oh, hey, come here, come here, come here. Calm down, you did great. You should be very proud of yourself. Probably because I've got the rope swinging in my hand a little bit here. So what we'll do, so she can get used to that, is I'll just kind of wrap the rope around a little bit and just say, look, this is, this is the best thing ever. You're okay. Okay. Now the question is, can I drive her in? From the ground this might be difficult to take video of she might just only leave in i think i'll just lead her in because i can't get the video of it you'll never know it that's fantastic <laughs> a little bit of horse chewing on hay in a trailer asmr
it's nice it's actually I mean if you spend any time trailer training you'll know I'm just gonna come up into the corner here and just hang, hang out kind of low but if you spend any time trailer training this is one of the most pleasurable kind of sounds <laughs> where you've got that little bit of echo of a horse inside the trailer just happily chomping away at some food kind of thing and it feels good to know that you've brought them to a place where they're comfortable and I'm really glad she she remembers all of her her uh, work for getting in trailers obviously plenty of horses out there that can't handle it I don't even have all the windows open or nothing they're just kind of just the just the window with the like usually I'll open these these drop down windows I'll open them right up but I didn't so it's good getting hot today it's gonna be hot for the next few days proper hot you know what I want to solve a little bit though there she stopped chewing let's see whatever I think I don't want her all worried and upset I don't want her jumping out of here I'll draw her back just gotta get used to a bit of the sounds so I'm just bouncing up and down and she's gone back to eat and I'll stop and that's pretty good because when she's gonna be in a trailer movement she's it's gonna be rattling and well not the trailer that's coming here we've got an absolute pro coming today he um, put on that trailer clinic that I went to I think I told you guys about and has written a book that I promised to review <laughs> and put on the channel just haven't had the time to read it it's in depth it's got a lot of good stuff look at her tail look at how luscious that thing is just beautiful color it's a gorgeous horse a good sound mind but like all the ferals or wilds they uh, they have their they have their worries they have their natural can't take it out of them worries she's like what are you doing with that rope oh see so I want to check that out a little oh she's out okay so we want to check these things out a little bit so come on back in oh, yeah you're okay you didn't die there you go come on up good let's come back around right it's normal to have these instincts we just keep on working a little bit and taking them out let her eat then we're right back in love working on gaps i think i've told you guys before we find little gaps fix them deal with them when you get to them right there's a rope against her side she's like i don't know makes me worried yeah i know but that's okay it's just a rope right doesn't hurt oh I don't want her to leave so I'm just gonna kind of pause wait till she puts her head back down there we go and back a little see if we can touch that back leg a smidge without her losing her mind again there we go see <laughs> I do a lot more of that but I don't want to invest my whole morning into this I do have things to do it's kind of an off-the-cuff thing because um, of the timeline that was presented i want to make sure she's going to be good we want to set our horses up or other people's horses for success for you know the non-stressful world that they have they're forced to live in because we have them in captivity as our pets or whatever <laughs> we steward them we take care of them horse husbandry practices are important feed them water them make sure they're not afraid of everything all that kind of stuff let's ask her to come out say I'm leaving let's go she says I'll go with you where are we going that's a little far I would actually prefer her not to go that far so, draw back okay I'm gonna see hello yes you're such a good horse it's crazy do you want to go in all by your lonesomes do you want to go? Wish she says, I'll hang out with you quite a bit. It's kind of nice. There's a horse nose. It's 
So I'm just going to hold out my arm a little bit like I would with normal groundwork. I don't have any driving energy. Let's see if she hops in all by her lonesomes. She does. I'm actually going to just put the rope down there. That is exactly what you want for trailering. You want to be able to stay out. I'm going to say just go on, head on in there. You'll be good. It's a nice safe place to be. I'll guard the door. <laughs> Whatever. You know. It doesn't hurt to have a bunch of food in there. <laughs> it is it is a bit of a cheat. Hope everybody recognizes that. It's a little bit of a cheat. But if she had enough fear in her, she wouldn't go in anyways. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how much food you put in there. I've had a trailer full of apples and pears and hay and all kinds of stuff. And the horses are like, nope, no chance. I'm not going in that thing. Yeah. So it's not as if treats are the, the be all and end all. This is what you do. You feed them. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with a little bit of a cheat like this where you can just say, hey, if you hang out in here and do your normal everyday thing, you'll be good. You know what? Just for good measure, one more time. I, li I, I, I like the idea of her backing out, but I'm not going to press that. If she stops, good. That's a little better. She hasn't gone past me this time. So that's wonderful. We'll give her a little pet. Say good job with the rope too, you see. Because we know that was a worry. For whatever reason. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the reason is. Just sort it out. Okay, so she knows to drive on by herself. So my arm is out, the invite is there. I'm off to the side at the door. She says, okay. If you uh, if you say so. So I'll just wait. Make sure she does not step on the rope. That's all. Because it is my cheat. Oh, that was close. It is my cheat. She does step on ropes. We've done this. We've seen the video where she can step on her own rope. But I do have a preference for her to not do it on the trailer. So I owe her that. You know what I mean? So we'll just keep it out of step on range for now. That's pretty good, eh? there good I actually wanted her over so putting the rope on her side like that seemed to have that effect I'm gonna hop on she's a little worried you can see it in her eyes good girl you're okay so there maybe that's a little bit of um, visual reference for anybody that's doing trailer training and and uh, say you can get a horse on, well, what, what further would you want to do? Well, there's a couple of the activities you could do. You could just check out stuff that bothers them. Um, I think it would be handy to have her be able to back out. I believe she could do it. I just don't plan on bothering with it. I know that the trailer that she's going to be hauled in, she can go forward out of. Um, and uh, it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for her to uh, go in a new trailer. So it'll be her third trailer that I'm aware of. So the one she arrived in, this one, and then this new one. So good. Okay, well that's it for now. I think I'll leave it at that. And uh, hopefully she'll have a little bit of time to play a bit with the other horses. Although it is gonna get hot and I do wanna try to get Annie in here. So maybe what I'll do, maybe, you know what we should do? We should get Annie. We should let her off the lead here. Close the front gate. Go get Annie and let Annie look at her in here. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm just pondering things in my head right now. <laughs> Video is still running. Okay, we're gonna let you guys go for now. <laughs> here comes little Miss the Helper. See if Annie will come on. Of course she does. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> oh no. Now I got two horses in here. 
Okay, I don't want two horses. You, out. One at a time. One at a time. <laughs> Get out. Get out. 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 Thanks. Okay, you. <laughs> you look on high alert. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna turn around and come out. That's what we're doing. Uh, okay, Annie, I'm gonna come around this way. You need to move your bum bum. Move your bum bum. And out you come. You superstar. What do I even do with this horse? You are a rock star. Oh, she's just gonna stand there for a second. It's like, I like being in the trailer. It's kind of cool. Just prime examples of these BC Wildies. Just fantastic, amazing horses. Don't run off that way. Stay with me. You two are characters. Wait, don't push into me just because she's pushing. But don't push her, please. You guys can chitty chat just a smidge, and that's it. We're both pretty excited about this trailer business, though. It's fantastic. Oh, hey, 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 no, no, don't. Just, she whipped her tail at a fly. You just have to forgive her for now. No biting. No biting. No, no sending. I'll send you. There. Oh, this trailer is a magnet now. It's a food magnet. Horse magnet. Okay, Annie, can you come on one more time with me, please? Just to prove you're a complete and total amazing horse. If I need to load you, I can. Looks like I can. That's just insane. How lovely. You can wait. I don't want two in here right now. I'll let you guys goof around later. No, I won't. That'd just be silly. Don't do that. Don't let horses... Hey, no, no. Just go. Go. Yeah, go. Oh, Annie, calm down. Go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, come with me. You're good. You've already been eating. This would be like second breakfast seats for you. Oh, you get a little worried too. You can hit the ground a little. All right, come on. Uh, it's just so little. Look at how well she fits in here. Sideways. <laughs> All right, get out. Good girl. Okay, come here. You did great. You are amazing. As expected. Okay, well that ends Annie's trailer training for the day. <laughs> Went great. Oh, here she comes. Okay, well that little Miss Hall put herself into the trailer. Off she goes. She says, I load with no problems. I'm a champ. Okay, that's it. See you guys in the next one.